Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center along with Cooper and Carson, and I'm Ingai. CBS Sports compiled its list of the 100 best NFL players in 2023, and with no surprise who came out on top. Patrick Mahomes is the clear top choice fresh off his second Super Bowl title and two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons. At just 27 years old, Mahomes is on current pace to be in conversation as one of the greatest NFL players of all time. Quarterbacks went 1, 2, and 3 uh, CBS players ranking. The Bills' Josh, Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow of the Bengals went number 3. Last year's, oh, last year's number three, one player Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald sp- 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 slipped to the ninth spot. One of the biggest question marks entering the upcoming NBA season centers around John Morant. The Memphis Grizzlies All Star guard will start the twenty five se- will start the season serving a minimum twenty five game suspension for his off court behavior. The suspension could exceed twenty five games if he does not meet certain conditions. Morant will be ineligible for any team activities during his suspension. The the Grizzlies have responded well to Morant's absences in the past. Memphis won 11-10 without Morant last season, but in the 21-22 season, they won 20-5 when Morant was not available to play. The college football season is fast approaching with seven games scheduled for Week 0 on August 26, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC, opening their seasons early. The Fighting Irish face Navy in Dublin, Ireland for the first time since 2012, and Southern Cal hosts San Jose State, both USC and Northern Dame are expected to be in the college football playoff chase this coming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hardman transferred to Northern Dame and USC has defending Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Caleb Williams returning. Most college football teams begin their season the first weekend of September for the traditional week one schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance resurgence with internal projections pointing to a full season attendance increase of 6 to 8 percent. That is encouraging news for the MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who says 22 out of 30 MLB clubs are currently up in attendance. A year ago, Major League Baseball experienced its lowest attendance figure since 1997. Manfred points out that there has been a strong fan reception in the pitch clock, larger bases, and a, and a ban on extreme defensive shifts. Since adding the pitch clock in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than in 2022. MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. Uh, the United States women's soccer team uh, goes up for a 3 p at the summer at this this summer's Women World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 15. England, the European champion is also one of the top contenders this year. This year's field is the largest ever with 32 teams competing, compared to 24 in previous tournaments. More, more than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the, comp- will be watching the competition. When the United States beat the Netherlands in 2019 finals, at an average of t- 82.2 million viewers watched worldwide. That's it for a busy day in sports for my co-anchors, uh, Cooper and uh, Carson. I'm Ingai. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.